sex, violence, poverty, all happening in high school. Recently, I went back to school to discover the challenges facing high school students. From issues we didn't expect. I started losing my hair. To some that never go away. You guys feel pressure with sex with guys? You don't put out the relationship. Real teens. Real issues. I was in an abusive relationship. He would threaten to kill me. I'm going back to high school. I have a little something for you. Now, I'm Tyra. Hey, what's up, everybody? I hear my audience is full of high school students today. Can I hear you? myself right now about how old I am. I started high school 20 years ago. Oh, Lord. And I know that teenagers today face all of these same issues, but I wanted to see how they're dealing with today's faster and sometimes really meaner world. And to find out, I partnered up with the pencil program and I headed back to school. And you are coming with me. But first, let's check out this audience full of high school students from all over New York City. From Lincoln. Can I hear Lincoln? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, uh, I just want to say that you guys are fun. You're crazy. I was in the school in the hallways, and you guys are Tyra! Tyra! Some of you guys should have been in class and you were roaming them hallways and you know who you were. But I had really, really fun, you guys. I will never forget that day. And it began with a 16 year old girl, a really sweet girl named Brittany. Check it out. For a lot of students, going to school is an escape. You get to hang out with friends, participate in extracurricular activities. But for Brittany, walking through those school doors is something she dreads. When I walked into school, it felt like everybody was watching me. I just thought it was cool to make fun of me. When Brittany was just in the eighth grade, her hair started falling out. I was scared. It was like a little bit in the shower, like, look down, like there'll be chunks. My pillow would have like strands and it would kind of freak me out because I didn't know what was going on. She was diagnosed with alopecia, a rare autoimmune disorder that causes severe hair loss. The kids in my class started realizing and I was losing so much that we couldn't cover it anymore. And it was, you know, my mom decided it was time for a wig. But wearing a wig didn't put an end to Britney's bullying nightmare. That's when it went crazy. The boys would try to pull it off. People would like go up in the hallway and just point fingers at me, coming up to me saying, oh, we know you wear a wig, take it off. Britney's story really touched me. So I decided to pay her a visit. How are you? Give me a hug. <laughs> hey there. Hi. I know that you've been going through some stuff, right? Mm -hmm. With your alopecia? Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. I know you're, you're scared to go to school. What are you scared of at school when it comes to that? I'm afraid, like, kids will pull my wig off. One of my biggest fears is, like, somebody will, like, yank it off and, like, run down the hall with it. You know what I'm going to do today? because you're scared to go to school and you're scared of all those things that they're going to say and scared that they're going to pull your wig off, I'm going to bring you to school today. Really? I am. So it's going to be me and you in your school, and they can't mess with you when I'm there. 16 years old. I remember 16. So tell me how the alopecia started. My dad. He got sick. He had pasta in our house. They took him to the hospital and they found out that he had heart problems. And like when he had gotten sick in the house, like I was really freaked out and scared. <laughs> and from all the stress and the anxiety, I started losing my hair. And as our car pulled closer to the school, Brittany was getting anxious. Will she make it inside the school? We're about to pull up to the school. 
And um, again, I know this is a scary thing for you, you know, and not knowing somebody's gonna pull your wig off and then calling you those awful names, but I'm here with you, okay? <gasps> is that Brittany? Is that what you guys are thinking? Like, oh my gosh, she looks so fantastic. Well, we, we gave you a little makeover mm -hmm. with a little new wig. How do you like it? I like it. I like you as a blonde. <laughs> I think it is fierce, darling, as a blonde. Um, your story, it really touched me because you, you feel like dropping out of school sometimes. I didn't know it was that heavy that sometimes mm -hmm. you feel like dropping out. Yeah. Tell me why it gets that bad sometimes. Um, it's hard when I go to school mm -hmm. because kids pick on me for having alopecia, mm -hmm. for wearing a wig, and they don't know what I go through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they just think it's cool to make fun of me. Mm -hmm. And it's also me. easy to make fun of people. Um, but one thing that I think is really important about you being here today and telling your story is they, they know why. Mm -hmm. They know why yeah. the alopecia has happened. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to make them hopefully more sensitive mm -hmm. to you. Okay, Brittany, so we are here now in your okay. school, and mm -hmm. I'm going to walk you in. Okay. You a little nervous? Mm -hmm. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay, so take my hand. You guys are some of the guys that tease Brittany, but she's with me today. Yeah. Oh, she's good now, right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys are gonna give her love because I'm not gonna be here every day. And you guys, y'all don't need to be teasing people. Y'all are brothers. Y'all get teased in life because of being brothers. I'm a sister. I know how it is. So you guys need to uplift and help, right? Not tease other people. Okay. Give me hugs, so we'll all get hugs. Group hugs. Group hugs. Yeah. I have someone I want Brittany to meet. Peggy Knight, stand on up. So this is Peggy Knight. Tell us why you're here, Peggy. Well, Brittany, um, I just want to let you know that I also have alopecia areata, and I lost my hair when I was age 14. Mm -hmm. And I also went through all the things. When, when I heard you talking earlier, I just started crying because I, it brought back all the memories of what it was like to wake up in the morning and have to go to school and have to think about, are my bald spots going to show? Are they going to tease me today? Which they did. Mm -hmm. And um, I have one quick story to tell is that when I recently went to a high school crash reunion, the young man, who is now an adult, who used to call me Baldy, is now short, fat, and bald. <laughs> it was great. Do you so have something special I do. Um, I have the hairpiece that you're wearing today is a gift from me. My company is Peggy Knight Solutions, and I got into designing hairpieces because I hated what was available. So that's a gift for you. Thank you. Lincoln, I know that wants to say something to Brittany. Um, why don't you stand on up? What do you want to say? I mean, Tyra, I see Brittany every day in school, and I did not know that, you know, you were getting bullied. And for that, I would, even though I never bullied you, I would just like to apologize for everybody and let you know that, you know, you have a friend in me if you, never, if you ever need anyone to talk to. And I know who you are, because I've met you. Go, why don't you tell us your name? My name is Sukanya. Okay, then why don't you guys go? We have a little break. Why don't you guys talk? All right. All right, we'll be right back.